Black Christmas. A whole movie that changed horror forever. I wish I could do a review on the original. I really wish. I mean, I, I can. I guess I can. If it's not going to get taken down. But yeah, but screw that. I'm talking about the remakes. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, so this one is a versus one, kind of. So, which remake was a better remake? Okay, so I will talk about both of these movies. So, if you don't want spoilers, maybe click away or... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, click away. If you, but then again, I feel like I'm doing you a favor by spoiling these movies. Okay. Which one do I begin with? Okay, Black Xmas. <sighs> Yeah, they decided to give Billy a backstory, give him a disease, disease jaundice, making his skin yellow because I think one of the writers was watching The Simpsons when he had this idea. I don't know. And the movie keeps going back and forth between... Yeah, the girls at the sorority and, well... Billy trying to escape a mental asylum. Now, they can't exactly do the same thing they did in the original because technology really changed a lot from 1974 to 2007. So, yeah. They were able to track phones a lot faster, so... So the killer basically, um... Took the phone. Well, it took one of the girls' phones after killing her. So, they changed the house mother being a drunk to one of the sorority girls being a drunk. I don't know, because she was the best part. Oh, and one, the one from the original, one of them from the original did come back as the house mother in this remake. Which I do got your points saying the A, they brought an old character back, yay. The kills are okay, and they are gory. Again, it was around a time where how Jason, the, fi the final cut, or killer cut, and Rob Zombie's Halloween. So, yeah, and this movie also kind of suffers from Halloween, too. Basically, give it an unnecessary backstory to Billy. So, Billy's mom didn't like Billy because, I don't know, they never exactly explained why she hated him. She just did. Kept him locked in the attic for years and years. She then kills her husband. And then she has a child with a child, and Agnes is born. I don't know why... They made Agnes an incest baby in this movie. I feel like what they should have done is make one of the sorority girls Agnes. And maybe have Billy killing off Agnes's bullies. Being like an overprotective big brother but also crazy as well. And then maybe... Billy would have wanted Agnes to be a killer, like his big brother. And then maybe Agnes could have fought Billy and killed him. I feel like that would have been a much better remake than the 2007 one. But no, let's make Agnes crazy as well and as a killer. I do love how they want you to think that Billy is somehow in two places at once. But it's Agnes. You can easily tell, like, Billy doesn't have, like, that long hair for, yeah, in some of the scenes when Agnes is killing. Now, I think the better way what they could have done to fix this movie was have Billy be the killer and maybe have, maybe Agnes be dead or not a killer. Or maybe keep her as a killer, but... What they could have done was, the movie basically goes back and forth between Billy escaping the asylum, 
flashback to Billy's past, and the sorority girls getting killed off. Uh, I think what they should have done is maybe have the flashbacks to Billy's, like Billy being in the insane asylum. Maybe it would have been revealed that the night god, the god could have checked and see. Oh, it was one of the orderlies that worked in the asylum. Billy killed him, so I put him in Billy's, Billy put the guy in, the, in his bed, and then left like a month ago, roughly. I mean, they could have hinted that saying that, oh, this one worker, yeah, left like a month ago and just, just left for some reason. It could have done a good one where, yeah, Billy left like a month ago. So, flashing back to Billy, it would have been the past. And then you still have Billy killing people during the present. I think that that would have been a better twist rather than what we got. But yeah, the kills are probably the only good thing about the remake. Everything else just... So just bad. The 2019 one. Yeah, I think they were trying. Yeah, they were trying to tackle feminism in college, and then they kind of like halfway for forget the message they were trying to shove down our throats halfway through the movie. Then we have. Yeah, they had a supernatural. So basically, we have a fraternity brainwashing people. And have them go from different sororities and have them just kill and slaughter people. And then we have one of the main characters burn, basically burn down the fraternity and killing everyone that was brainwashed. I mean, these guys were brainwashed. They... They know the, the leader of the fraternity name is, is, is not Billy. Billy's not even in the 2019 one. They just snipped him out for some odd reason. I don't know why they did that. The kills are all off screen. Which, yeah, it makes sense. The movie's PG-13. Don't know why they could have went with R Raiden and made the kills more gory. But I guess they wanted to play it safe, I guess. And then there's some plot about... A teacher that's supposed to be like the founder of the college is supposed to be like a womanizer or something like that or something. It's basically a classic movie about like girls good, guys bad, basically. And I don't think they handled it right at all. It it didn't do well. As you can see, it got a 39%. That's bad. Hey, why a holiday horror we make takes a feminist position? Okay, that's bad. Um, let's see. Oh, and this one's even worse. It got a 15%. That's... Ouch. Dairy slushy we make is worse than fruitcake. I mean, they're not wrong. I'm pretty sure why it got such a bad percentage. And the original got a 71% and 75% popcorn. So, it's clear the original was better than both remakes combined. Like, that's just... Ouch. 31 for Black Christmas. 15 for Black Xmas. That's... That's bad. Like, I mean, both, both, both movies are horrible. Just, just horrible. It, that's, that's bad, but I guess I would say which one's better. I would say the, the 2007 one's better. I mean, the kills are gory. Though I do like some parts of the 2019 one where the girls got to, you know, explore. 
the the college, which I did like that one from the first one. Though the characters are kind of unlikable in a way, especially the one that burned down the fraternity, killing innocent people who were brainwashed. They didn't know they were they were being brainwashed or. They're gonna be forced to kill people at this at the college. Ouch. Um yeah. So So comment below which one you think is better. God. So I think I did a full talk about both of them. Though we're talking about Black Exodus more because uh, the 2019 one was eh, forgettable. They even Billy's not even in there. I mean, there was one reference to it is when the girl's mother called, but it sounded like all staticky. It made it sound like something else, like a creepy caller, but it was just her mom. I was hoping Billy was going to be in this one. Even the trailer basically gives away that there's more than one killer. Oh, God. So, yeah, comment below which one you think is better. All right, bye.